felines are cats or other family of the cat family such as lion, tiger, and cheetahs. Oftentimes we keep them as pets and a family member, but me, <laughs> I never had a pet. There was one time I was playing with a crumbled paper and it landed near my grandpa's dog. I was about to reach for it, dog wakes up and tries to bite me. <laughs> well luckily my grandpa is there and that's why the dog didn't get to bite me. They did put me in a mild trauma causing me to be scared of animals, even cats. But I want to change it now. In this documentary, you will see me try to befriend a cat and understand their behaviors. And in the end, maybe we can adopt one. There are multiple cats in my area. The orange one, the gray mother one and her son, this black cat, this another gray one with a yellow collar, and of course, Sabrina, the cat who chose its owner. I didn't find her. We just hear her meowing outside like asking to find its home. At first, she was quite ag aggressive. She doesn't seem too friendly and doesn't like to get touched. As time goes by, I can finally get to pet her and I learn how to comfortably pet her. She got a really nice and shiny black and white fur and after a few weeks, I decided to give her a collar and we named her Sabrina. Few weeks pass by and she now sometimes sleeps downstairs or the whole afternoon. She likes to scratch things out like woods or these foam pads. When I'm trying to reach her, she always tries to grab it, possibly to bite it but I just quickly move away my hand since her nails are quite sharp. I just reach my hand to this grey mother cat that we call Ash and she doesn't seem to care about it. She doesn't seem to reach for it at all and she just lets me pet her. Same with her son that we call Gatsby. He is fast and likes to take others' foods but a really good boy, I guess. Ash and Gatsby aren't our cats though, they're our neighbor's cat and it just happens to roam around and visit us once in a while. This other grey cat with a yellow collar act like Sabrina did when she was looking for home. She is meowing and scratching itself on me, but she just seems to find someone who can scratch him and just always laying down, scratching himself on the floor. Compared to Sabrina, I can pet this cat with no problem. This orange male cat, I think he's scared of me. He's quite of a um, troublemaker. I think every time I come around, he just walks away. I never met this cat. I don't recall doing anything that might give him harm before at all. Cats do either get domesticated or domesticate themselves. The reason they do this is because they are also smart. They know humans are a great food source. They will be provided with shelter and comfort that they seek. Compared to dogs, cats won't really protect your house from any intruder. Well, not this very from cats to cats, of course. The only intruder they'll deal with are either smaller than them, like birds and rats, or a robber. I don't think they will give a single damn about him. Dogs, on the other hand, are better, in my opinion. They see you as their master, their best friend, and will protect you especially if it's a big boy and is trained like some canine or some German Shepherd or Husky. Cuts, like any other human, have their own personality. That's not, that's not a surprise for sure. Some cuts are plain a-hole. Some of them are too scared, you know, scared cats. Some of them are just too lazy, and many many more. Like any other human too, I noticed some difference in furs. Sabrina got a different type of fur. Her fur is kind of thin and shiny, while the rest of the cats I pet are have quite of a thick fur, even with a kitten. And just look at these cats that seem to be arguing or talking about something. Cats are a love pet. They will never gonna be the same. They all have their own personalities and traits. Some of them really love their owners. Some of them just really don't care. There's nothing we can do about it. They're cats and they're just being what they are. And to answer the question, do we happen to adopt one? Yes, actually 
we we still have Sabrina at home. She just out the, um downstairs. And now look, Sabrina has two kittens now. Yeah, she just gave birth to these two kittens. Beautiful kittens. Well, that's all. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.